Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome back to the channel again. So here I am again, uh, your friend, your mentor, your coach for uh, subjects in the CA Inter as well as in CA Final. As well as uh, the, I am also, you know, very much willing to help the students in this particular time of COVID-19 epidemic situation which we are facing right now. So I got a lot students ka message, I got a lot of students ka queries, hai ki, sir. Jaise exams cancel ho gaya. Now we all know that July examination 2020 has been cancelled by the ICA on July of the 3rd. So July 3rd ko decision has come that ICA is no more going to conduct any exams in July 2020. But jaise hi ye news aai, that the, the moment this news came in the market, the people are you know, you know, rushing up, people are you know, adding up their mind, they are gushing up their mind with so many kind of misconceptions and more, so many kinds of concerns and so many kinds of myths. So out of those several myths which I got via message, via you know inquiry from the various number of students, so I thought that it's good for me that I should come forward and you know help the students in this concern. So here I am again. So I'll be trying my level best to make you understand ki what kind of myths you are having and what is the solution to those myths. So without wasting the time, let us first understand that this is the situation I think. This is the situation every student is facing right now. अब मैं तुम्हें एक आइडिया बताता हूँ। अल्लाह, let me give you one idea कि why students are facing this kind of situation. Problem number one. What is the problem number one? Sir, exams हो गए खत्म, exams हो गए खत्म। अब exams खत्म, exams cancel हो गए। अब exams cancel हो गए तो हमारे ऊपर burden हो गया। क्या burden हो गया? Sir, हम लोग पहले ही lazy थे। We were already lazy during the July 2020 exams. Now after the cancellation, there are another four months what we are you know going to get and we will be you know partially doing the preparation earlier only so now again we'll be set back and we'll be and you know relax again for one one and a half month and we'll do the preparation in the uh, another one one and a half month right from here we will start uh, doing our preparation from the month of september instead of doing it in the july and august that is the first basic thing you have to understand one thing when we were having the exams in July 2020, if I will be at your stage, अगर मैं आपकी stage पे होता, तो मैं first of all बहुत ही disturbed था। I know that कि if I will be at the students' point of view, if I'll be empathetic, if I'll think from your point of view, अगर मैं student होता, तो मैं बहुत disturbed होता। I will be very much disturbed because every 15 days the new notification was coming from ICA regarding the exams are going to be there or not going to be there, Supreme Court ruling। तो I was very much disturbed, but now when the ICA has very much clarified in the July examinations are not going to be held now they are going to take place directly in the November 2020 as a student I got little bit of relaxed but after the two to three days of relaxation against you know I was pumped up I was you know having I was gushed up with so many kinds of misconceptions and concerns in my mind is sir exam cancel okay so अब मैं क्या करूं? Now should I start preparing right now or should I start preparing later? से तो पहला rule क्या है सर? अब हमारे पास four months हैं. We are having the four complete months. So remember one thing: don't lose this opportunity. This should not be your attempt anymore. This should be your exam this time. Are you getting the point or not? सबसे पहले तो ये attempt word अपनी life से निकाल दो. People, you know, very much take lightly these professional examination. Now tell me one thing, during your inter examinations or during your plus one, plus two examinations, did you tell your mother or father that, Mama, please uh, uh, give me the blessings because today I'm going to write an attempt for plus one examinations or attempt for plus two examinations? No, we never use this word called attempt. But after coming to this professional course, we have started using the word called what? Attempt. What has happened to us? So it is never going to be an attempt. पहले तो ये attempt word को remove करो, इसे exam में तब्दील करो, इसे exam में change करो, change it to the word called word exam. So from the various queries, from the various queries which I got from the student side, तो very much common query was sir कि shall we relax and shall we start preparing because I have already done my 60, 70 percent of preparation before the notification came. So what should I do? Should I relax or not? First of all तो no relaxing, no relaxing. Instead of putting a pressure of 16 to 20 hours during the very near to the examination, it's better to spread your pressure over the four months by reducing it to seven to eight hours a day. Are you understanding about it? Mere kehne ka matlab hai, agar hum September se preparation shuru karenge, September aur October mein do mahine hum preparation kare, to hum log 12, 12, 15, 15 ghante padne ki koishish karenge. To waisa kyu karna? Jab hamare paas 4 mahine hai, to kyu na hum aise plan kare 
कि 12-15 घंटे की जगह अगर मैं 7-8 घंटे हर रोज पढ़ लू फ्रॉम टुमारो इट सेल्फ ओनली देन वट विल हैपन द प्रेशर विल बी रिड्यूस पॉइंट नंबर वन नाउ उसके अलावा उसके अलावा जो मेरे को सबसे दो मेजर कंसर्न द बिगेस्ट टू मिसकनसेप्शन विच आई केम अक्रॉस अमंग द माइंड ऑफ द स्टूडेंट इज मिसकनसेप्शन नंबर वन सर क्या हुआ मिसकनसेप्शन नंबर वन पहला क्या है देखो दो आर द मिसकनसेप्शन एंड कंसर्न विच आर इन दूज माइंड स्टूडेंट्स माइंड आफ्टर द कैंसलेशन ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जामिनेशन सर जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जामिनेशन हो गए खत्म अब मेरी प्रॉब्लम क्या चल रही है कि मेरे को ये नहीं पता चल रहा कि एग्जाम जो नवंबर में होंगे द एग्जाम्स विच आर गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस इन नवंबर आर दे गोइंग टू हैव अ डबल कंपटीशन फॉर मी सो व्हाट इज द थॉट नंबर वन व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन विच आई हर्ड फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट इज सर अवर कॉम्पिटिशन इज गोइंग टू बी डबल्ड अवर कॉम्पिटिशन इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट डबल हमारा कॉम्पिटिशन सर डबल्ड हो जाएगा Now this is a first misconception which I heard from the student. But let me clarify very simple thing. अब तुम सोच के देखो Let me clarify it in a very simple way so that you can understand. अब तुम सोच के देखो If July में exams होते अगर July 2020 ट्वेंटी में एग्जाम्स होते तो क्या होता जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एग्जाम में सपोज हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स आर अपेयरिंग आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स डेफिनेटली एटी आर गोइंग टू फेल एटी परसेंट तो फेल होते तो वेन द एटी परसेंट आर फेलिंग and 20% are passing 20% are passing when the 80% are failing and 20% are passing to aapka competition double kaise ho gaya sir aapka competition double kaise ho gaya these 80% who are going to fail they were anyways going to write the exam in november 2020 देवर एनी वेज गोइंग टू राइट द एग्जाम इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टेल मी डू यू अग्री और नॉट देखो सर बहुत ही सिंपल सा कैलकुलेशन है हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स ने एग्जाम दिया ट्वेंटी स्टूडेंट्स पास हो गए ठीक है एटी स्टूडेंट्स फेल हो गए जब ट्वेंटी स्टूडेंट्स पार्ट हुए और एटी स्टूडेंट्स फेल हुए वो एटी स्टूडेंट्स तो ऑलरेडी दे हैव मेड अप देयर माइंड जिनको मालूम था कि वो फेल हो जाएंगे दे हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अप देयर माइंड के दे आर गोइंग टू राइट इट इन द नवंबर एंड इवन दो Even though 80% students are going to fail, they are definitely going to write in the November. वो तो हर attempt में होता है. From the previous attempt, 80% of the population definitely comes to the next attempt. The only thing is your competition is not getting doubled. Your competition is maximum getting increased by 20 to 25%. That's it. Double नहीं हो रहा sir. Only one by fourth of the total population is again going to write the examination. क्योंकि वो जो 20% those 20 percent who could have cleared in what july 2020 those 20 percent person who could have cleared in the july 2020 now they are going to appear in november 2020 now they are going to appear in november 2020 i hope aap log sab logo ko meri position samajh mein hai to main isko dobar se fir samjha deta hu bahut hi technical analysis hai dekhiye agar 100 bachcha 100 bachcha exam likhta hai to 80 percent to kaise bhi fail hone wala tha एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट पास होने वाला था यह ट्वेंटी परसेंट बच्चा हु हैज नॉट रिटर्न द एग्जामिनेशन नाउ इन जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नाउ दिस पर्सन इज गोइंग टू राइट द एग्जाम इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दिस एटी परसेंट तो एज्यूम टू बी राइटिंग इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ओनली और नॉट तो ये तो वैसे भी लिखने वाले थे दे वर ऑलरेडी गोइंग टू राइट द एग्जामिनेशन इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी क्लियर क्रिस्टल क्लियर अब तुम्हारा कंपटीशन कितना इंक्रीज हुआ तुम्हारा कंपटीशन इंक्रीज हुआ 20 टू 25 परसेंट ओनली योर कंपटीशन गॉट इंक्रीज बाय 20 टू 25 परसेंट ओनली तो फर्स्ट मिसकंसेप्शन विच द स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग कि एग्जाम्स में आवर कंपटीशन इज गोइंग टू बी डबल दैट इज रॉन्ग टेक्निकली इफ यू डू द अनालिस टेक्निकली यू विल कम टू नो दैट यूर एग्जाम्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट डबल यहां पर कुछ भी डबल या ट्रिपल नहीं हो रहा इट इज जस्ट दैट कि योर कंपटीशन इज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज आई एम नॉट सेइंग इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू इंक्रीज यस योर कंपटीशन इज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज बट नॉट बाय डबल इट इज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज बाय 25 परसेंट और 20 25 परसेंट ओनली जो लोग जुलाई में नहीं लिखे जिनको भरोसा था कि वो क्लियर कर लेंगे दे आर गोइंग टू राइट अलॉन्ग विद यू इन द नवंबर 2020 तो पहला मिसकनसेप्शन हमने क्या क्लियर किया कि सर हमारा जो कंपटीशन है वो डबल नहीं होने वाला वो सिर्फ और सिर्फ 20 टू 25 परसेंट इंक्रीज होगा क्योंकि 80 परसेंट से लेके 75 परसेंट लोग जो फेल होने वाले थे 
75 to 80 percent people who are going to get failed they are definitely going to write again in november 2020 they are anyways going to write the examination in november 2020 then why you are saying that ki your competition is getting double i hope i'm able to clear out your doubt only 20 to 25 percent only 20 to 25 percent of the population is going to increase is going to be increased competition for you guys in the november 2020 i hope i cleared your misconception number one second misconception second myth which i got uh, from the students queries while having interaction with them is sir i say now competition is going to increase due to that i see ai will make tougher examinations this time and to reduce the pass percentage that is the second biggest misconception which i found among the students Now, ye aisa misconception kyu hai what is this reason kyunki we had a different kind of reputation we have a different kind of image of i say when it comes to examination hum logo ko kya lagta hai ki ICA tougher se tougher examination dalega kyunki july mein examination nahi hue november mein examination ho rahe to maintain the same legacy and prestige of institute of chartered accountants of india the ICA is going to make your exams more and more tougher to maintain its pass percentage aisa bilkul bhi nahi hai sir that is the second biggest myth what you have in your mind that is the second biggest misconception what you have in your mind let me clear it in a different way ab main tumhe batata hu ki ye kyun Aapka myth hai, ye kyun misconception hai, this is not a truth at all. Are you getting the point? Ab sunna dhyan se. Sir, 2020 mein, no ICA exams have taken place so far. Aap samajh rho is baat ko, ICA ke 2020 mein abhi tak exam hi nahi huye. It means those 10,000 to 15,000 chartered accountants who were going to get clear July examinations, now they have not cleared. It means what? Demand and supply concept. One of my friends on the YouTube, Mr. Sarth, uh, Sahil Jain classes, he has already made it very clear in his video and I, this video is credited to him only. The whole concept has been credited to Sahil Jain sir only. I video I thought ki whatever the people who are now following me, I thought of making the video with you guys. Are you getting the point or not? So remember one thing, when in the 2020, not even a single attempt has taken place, not even a single examination has taken place. So tell me one thing, now when no chartered accountant has been produced in the 2020 so far, now demand, now supply of the chartered accountant in the market is higher or lower? Tell me one thing, when no chartered accountant has been produced by our factory called ICA, now tell me, the supply of the chartered accountants in the market is higher or lower? It is going to be lower. Are you getting the point? It means the demand is going to be higher. Demand is going to be higher because supply is lower. So definitely, ICA has to make sure that they will not interfere with the pass percentage. They will not interfere with the examination pattern to make it more tougher for you people to get failed. Aisa kuch bhi nahi hoga. Are you getting the point? Because ICA also knows that ki they have to produce enough chartered accountants to meet the demand of the market. To meet the demand of the market. So market mein, those are bees mein, ek bhi chartered accountant naya nahi hai. So demand to anywhere in some sectors it is increasing day by day or not? Demand is increasing day by day. But chartered accountants are not getting produced in 2020. So definitely in the November 2020, there is no such kind of thing going to take place that ICA is going to make the examination tougher. Aisa kuch bhi nahi hoga. ICA kuch bhi examination tough hogera, kuch bhi nahi karegi. It will keep its examination in the simple way only. So neither your competition is getting doubled nor the examination are going to get tougher to relax yourself relax yourself achhe se preparation karo bahut badhiya se preparation karo bahut badi opportunity mili hai aapko apne attempt ko exam mein convert karne ki to so make sure that ki this particular examination which you are writing in november 2020 should not be your attempt should be your examination and final examination inter wale piche mud ke nahi dekhna dobar se inter mein nahi aana aur final wale seedha par ho ke chartered accountant ban jana are you getting the point? So don't treat this particular November 2020 as an attempt, treat it as an examination. So second myth, tha, I hope I am able to remove your myth, that examination tougher ho jayenge, because population double ho jayegi, or examination tougher is liye kiye jayenge, taaki less or less number of chartered accountants ikle, aisa kuch bhi nahi hai sir. We have to meet the demand of a market. Market mein demand is high, supply is very low. 
क्योंकि 2020 में एग्जाम ही नहीं हुआ तो जेन द ट्वेंटी में एग्जाम ही नहीं हुआ दो जुलाई चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स who are about to clear in the july 2020 they are definitely going to clear in november 2020 along with the november 2020 chartered accountants so ica has to maintain the supply in the market to meet the demand of chartered accountants in the market that is the reason there is no point of thinking about ki ica is going to be making ica is going to make the examination tougher and tougher this time in november 2020 sir mera to ek hi rule hai मेरा एक कॉन्सेप्ट है कि दुनिया में दो ही चीजें होती हैं या तो कोई चीज बहुत इजी होती है और या कोई चीज बहुत इजी होती है टफ नाम की कोई चीज ही नहीं होती तो देर आर ओनली टू थिंग्स इन लाइफ आइदर द थिंग्स आर वेरी इजी और द थिंग्स आर वेरी इजी ये किसने बोला ये मेरे गुरु गोविंद वीर जी ने जहां से मैंने अपने प्लस टू स्टैंडर्ड में मैथमेटिक्स की कोचिंग ली थी पंजाब में तो ही हैज टोल्ड दीज ब्यूटिफुल लाइन्स टू मी कि रोहित ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वन थिंग देर इज नो थिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड कॉल्ड टफर थिंग There is no thing in this world called tough. So either the things are easy or the things are very easy. Are you getting the point? So these two big misconceptions were which I thought that I should come up in front of the students via my channel called YouTube channel Grover Audit and Law Classes and should make sure that that they should not have this kind of misconception in their mind. So the first misconception is that our population is double. Only ten to twenty percent, and you can say that twenty to twenty-five percent population. Yes, definitely it is going to increase, but it is not going to get double. Double नहीं होगी. Are you getting the point or not? Because those eighty percent people who were failing in the July twenty twenty examination, they were already going. They were already. They were assumed to be writing the exam in November twenty twenty only. So, first misconception. Second misconception. I say is going to make the exams tougher this time to reduce the pass percentage. No. Again, remember demand and supply concept here. Demand and supply concept. Here. Everyone clear or not? Everyone clear? So I hope I made everything clear to all of you. Those two myths, those two thoughts, those two misconceptions, those two concerns of the student. I hope I was able to clear uh, out of your mind. So that's it from my side. Thanks again. Agli video mein milenge. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching my channel and thanks for watching my videos. So thanks for lending your patient ears also for this particular time. And I'll borrow it again in the next video. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.